Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Kayla LaFrance. The crew on board the space station put a lot of miles on their spacewalking shoes this week. On Sunday, June 20th, NASA astronaut Shane Kimbrough and ESA astronaut Thomas Pasquet set out on the second of three spacewalks tasked with installing two new IROSA, or ISS, rollout solar arrays onto the P6 truss to augment power capability for the orbiting laboratory. At the end of their six hour and 28 minute spacewalk, the duo had successfully completed the solar array installation and deployment for the first IROSA. The array measures 60 feet long and 15 feet wide and will generate 20 kilowatts of power on the 2B power channel. Five days later brought Kimbrough and Pasquet back out to the far-reaching P6 truss to work on the installation of the second new solar array. These two new solar arrays arrived recently on SpaceX's 22nd cargo vehicle and are the first of six planned arrays. When the six new solar arrays are installed, they will provide up to 120 kilowatts of augmented power during orbital daytime to the space station, ensuring continued habitability and science utilization for many more years to come. Science was still in focus this week despite the crew's busy spacewalking schedule. JAXA astronaut Aki Hoshide removed a sample tray from the sample chamber of the Lyophilization 2 experiment currently in the microgravity science glove box. Lyophilization, or freeze drying, is a common method for formulating pharmaceuticals to improve their stability and shelf life. The Lyophilization 2 experiment is designed to examine if and how microgravity affects freeze-dried materials differently and to understand the influence of gravity on their physical state. The freeze-drying process has potential use for long-term storage of medications and other resources on future exploration missions to the Moon and Mars. Improvements in this process could support efforts to use it to deliver products with similar physical properties here on Earth as well. The station crew also began to prepare for a busy week of cargo traffic. Make sure to join us on Tuesday, June 29th, to watch the departure of Northrop Grumman's Cygnus on the CRS-15 mission from the International Space Station, and later from the Baikonur Cosmodrome, the Progress 78 cargo ship will launch to the space station. You can follow coverage of both events on NASA TV, the agency's website, and the NASA app. And that's Space to Ground for this week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.